could always tell comedian Gabriel Rutledge was destined for great things. In second grade, he almost won the school spelling bee, and his ninth grade teammates voted him most inspirational. Inspirational. I want to see how that's spelled. <laughs> Just read it. <laughs> what? Well, ironically, the word I lost on the spelling bee. <laughs> Let me, let, me, let me pick up the intro. <laughs> world, man. Joe put a lot of work into this. I have my second grader write these, and there'd never be a missing right, word. Up. So he almost won the spelling bee, and his ninth grade teammates voted him most inspirational player on the base bill team. After that, he had a little in his accomplishments until 2000 fur, when he actually won something big, the Seattle International Comedy Competition. <laughs> Good job on that. Too. Good job on the intro, Joe. Wow. I like I like how in this uh, age of technology that's scrawled like it's stuck to the refrigerator, right. like a shopping list. I love that. Gabriel is now a Sassoon Prue who headlines all over the country. He's actually starting to make a decent living. <laughs> I mean, a decent living <laughs> at comedy. You can check him out tonight at Laughs Comedy Spot in Kirkland. Gabriel Rutledge, welcome to the Bob River Show. Thank you. All right. Thank you. I'm glad I'm making my descent on your show. <laughs> <And two. laughs> Joe, you got to get spell check. Well, yeah, I yeah. write them out longhand, and I've thought about typing them, but you once said, no, I like the challenge. I, like I do, it. right? <laughs> <laughs> It's it's really a mountain to climb every time. And you do such a great job. Yeah. And it's human. It's real because he writes it out long. And he doesn't sit there and, you know, because like when you're on like a Inside Edition or Entertainment or Tonight or something, they're reading it off a card. And it's like a candidate fielding a question at YouTube. You don't know who wrote it. I, that's true. Yeah. That's, your, your spelling horribleness is very real. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> I, I wasn't kidding about my daughter. She... Has not missed a spelling word all year. She's going to be the next one you'll be seeing on those news channels about this prolific speller. Because she takes a test every week and she has yet to miss a word. I don't know where she gets it because it's not from dad. No, definitely not. <laughs> dictionary. Well, hopefully you're still her dad, though. We was probably you know, they have those home paternity tests. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, well, look at her. I don't know. Yeah, she's uh, showing that a mustache. Gabriel, uh, let's, uh, let's get acquainted. Uh, lots going on. This is a busy time in your life. Uh, absolutely. Your wife is expected. Yeah, December 23rd, I should know that, is the due date. Wow, right before Christmas. I know, which, uh, yeah, mine's the day after Christmas. I know. One day you were born, born December 26th? One day after Jesus. <laughs> which, well, you're not that old. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 I barely remember him. <laughs> we were in the same class, but we yeah. never really spoke. Yeah. He was cool, I was not. Yeah. It ended up bad for him, though, so I'm glad I didn't Yeah, have. exactly. We were an upper class, but we didn't hang out. Does Santa get a last-minute update on the population? I mean, you got kids coming out on the 22nd, 23rd, 24th. Does he come and see those kids? Well, that's actually my wife has decided. We don't know, obviously. You know, it could be today. It could be January 10th. Right. But uh, she thinks we need Christmas clothes for our what would be hours old newborn newborn I, I my wife made me stuff my three-year-old daughter or three excuse me three-day-old daughter into a skunk costume and trot her over to the neighbor's houses all right she you went. win it was halloween yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. That, well, it wasn't christmas i don't even clear that up yeah. <laughs> Put a little skunk suit and haul it around. Wow. New mothers, well, welcome, welcome, welcome to the world. New mothers, skunk suit. Don't, don't cross your wife on this one. I, are you bow, kidding me? Bow, do, bow, bow down. Do what she asks. Bow yeah. down to the, to the new mother. Uh, do you know if it's a boy or a girl? It's a girl, which uh, I have a boy now. I'm ex I'm ex okay, here's the thing. I'm very excited to have a new human in my life. I, but my son is at an all-time high for annoyingness right now. And I'm thinking every day, I'm like, there's going to be two of these. Two of these. My son will not... Stop talking. Just, just all day. Just, Daddy, did you know trees are green and green's my favorite color? What's your favorite color? Is it orange? That's my second favorite color. Hey, where's mommy? Can I have a popsicle? Yesterday I pooped in the car. Can we go to McDonald's? How much did it cost to buy a submarine? I'm like, blue. <laughs> what was the first question, you crackhead? How old is he? He's five. Yeah, that's the lightning round. Oh, yeah. sugar? Is he, is, he on the, is he on the sugar? Uh, no, 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 that would be, I don't even know what that would do. Okay, and in there, you're going to put him on the Prozac. Uh, no. Or is it the Ritalin? Ritalin. Yeah. yeah. No. Don't, don't do, do that. Because you know, you're a comedian. You know that that wackiness is your gift. I would not do that to him, but I, there are times. I mean, he, 
How do you wake up talking? How is that even possible? How do you in our bed? He will sleep occasionally and just wake up, just like out of nowhere, just you know. Daddy, do Alligators ever eat sharks? They're still pirates. Can I have a nail gun? Why you crying? That's like, what's known as a boy. Boys are oh, boy. Oh, uh, yeah. Girls aren't as bad. I, I, you, they're yeah. a little slower. You'll like that. I don't know how dumb I was till I had a kid either. Like, <laughs> like all day long, long it's questions, questions and all day long, I'm like, yeah, I, I have no idea about that, actually. You know, Daddy, why are your tongues red? What am I, Google? I don't know. Why is the sky blue? I don't know that either. Why is the grass green? Why aren't you colorblind? That would be better for everyone. You've been married 10 years. Yeah. Ten years happy all, all the whole time. time. Absolutely, every day. I, every day. <laughs> wow, this is a marriage lightning, lightning round. round. <laughs> I'm not on a Prozac. Uh, uh, you have a lovely wife, though, right? Yeah. yeah so comedians always get lovely wives. We, we you know, she puts up with a lot doing this job. She is a, a wonderful woman. If, you, if you're listening, hi. Oh, she's, she's, she's listening. Okay. I don't. I have no idea if she's listening. Well, yeah, because you're going to be traveling a lot. She's going to be the one answering all these questions. I know. She's going to be. Uh, yeah, yeah I, I'm, I'm not traveling, not traveling for like a couple, couple months, months after uh, my daughter is born. But uh, after that, it's you know, it's back out there. I got to make a living. But yeah. you're, you're not, not a member of the writers, writers union, are you? Absolutely, Absolutely not. not. Uh, I wish. Well, well, maybe not now. But I, <laughs> that's this week. Yeah. 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 Barrel fires. I miss them. Yeah. <laughs> Whose side are you on? Are, are they well paid, uh, or or are they being taken advantage of? I, I think both. Actually, I mean, yeah, yeah I mean, they're, they're making, making they're, they're making good money, money but I compared, compared to uh, uh, their, their cut, cut is not, not that much. I'm definitely, definitely on their side. Okay, and and, and, and right, right now they get nothing for like clips on the, on the internet, internet right. and all sorts of things that are their cell phone ringtones, mm -hmm. goofy stuff that I can't believe anybody actually is interested in. But they're getting, uh, you know, they're getting nothing for any of that. Yeah, and that's I mean they couldn't have known that when they did their last contract how it was going to go. But you know all that all that stuff online they they don't get. It's either nothing or pennies, I believe they get. If I offered you big money right now to be a scab and write for Leno or Letterman and a guaranteed five years of big money to cross the picket lines, what would you do? I would say no, and then I would weep softly to myself. <laughs> what would you do an hour later? <laughs> and then I would call him back. Is this good? Are we still? still? Right. You are, uh, where do you live? You're, 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 I live in Olympia. You live in Olympia, so you're local enough to be a Mariners fan? Oh, absolutely. I'm a Mariners fan. From, from, the, from, the, from the 70s. 70s. Every, Every year or just the good years? Uh, there were no good years in the 70s. No, there were not. <laughs> that, that people complain now, like, oh, they're no good. I'm like, you you have no idea. They were they were unbelievably bad for, you know, decades. So I'm, uh... I'm still with him. There was, there was get your own section, section night at the kingdom back in the 70s. <laughs> yeah. You could have a whole section all to yourself. Personal peanut man, personal beer guy. Did you grow up in Olympia? Uh, since I was 11, yeah. 11 is pretty close. And, and I'm told that your parents repressed you. They did not have a television in the household, which is something that Eric does, too. Really? didn't have a television. No. No, it's right, Eric. I haven't had one since I was 17. Right. Since, since you were 17. I'm the exact opposite. I finally got one when I was 17. And, and I, yeah, yeah hippie parents, parents, which is very, very <sighs> here's the <laughs> thing, uh, the good thing is I probably, uh, I never have really done drugs because my parents, hippies have good anti-drug anti stories. stories. <laughs> <laughs> when I was little, my mom would say stuff like, Gabriel, never take acid. I had a friend who took acid and then he stared at the sun till he went blind. Which, wow, wow, when you're six, six that'll, that'll oh. <laughs> like, like, I, I have never, never taken acid without sunglasses. Not without sunglasses. Gabriel, good to see you again. Gabriel, uh, you've been here before. I have. Yeah, yeah, okay. Mike, yeah. Mike always usually puts welcome back to the show, but he and I have been arguing because lately I'm getting, I'm, I'm thinking I've seen people before and I haven't. It's all blended. You have been here. Don't eat acid. Yeah. Don't eat the acid. It's another good I, if you, if you need any remedial help, <laughs> you call me. Uh, it's 8.56. Gabriel is going to be at Laughs Comedy Spot in Kirkland. All the information will be at BobRivers.com.